How's it going today? Welcome to the Belser Show, eh? Got home from work, had a shower, had something to eat, and now I thought to myself, it's not too bad out today. Might be a good day to install a skylight in the freaking trailer. Come along with me for the ride, and hopefully this doesn't take all night, and uh, we'll see how we make out. But what you're gonna need for this job is, you're gonna need your skylight. You're gonna need caulking. I use a ProFlex RV. Skylight sealant. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use a skylight sealant on the screws and stuff And then I'm gonna use the other stuff around the inside edge. You're gonna need that plus you're gonna need a drill bit You're gonna need stable gun. You're gonna need screws because it doesn't come with screws and You're going to need a jigsaw. Let me wrap that stuff up and then we'll get rolling here So just so you know the first thing you're gonna want to do is kind of line up So whereabouts you want it? And I want it right from here to here. So I kind of just eyeballed it, and we got four inches here, and we got, so I'm not square, Jim. That's what happens when you eyeball it, just inside the four inch mark. So if I weather her here, and I do make a mark right here, so we can line her back up. So how I do it is I take the dome, like this, and I line it up to where I want it. So I want it there, and we want it there, like that. So just take your marker, and go around the outside of the doodad, like that. There we go. So it should be right about there, Jim. Maybe we'll make a better mark over here too. What the hell? So now that we've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to take this and measure how far in you want to go. So it's an inch. So you want to make sure you go an inch smaller than your marks or you'll be cocked over. So as you can see here, my marks are cocked over. Friggin' right here. Careful. So if I go in an inch and I go in an inch, I don't know which one fucking an inch is though. Oh, this fucking pen's not working. What flying cock? Let me just nail these again. Just so I make sure they're the right ones. There we go. Okay. Woo! So, let's try this again. In an inch. 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 Oh, fuck up. Pen is not working again. In an inch. Oh my god. Now I need a ruler. So now after you fight your daughter for a marker, you take a straight edge like this, and you draw a line like that. You take a straight edge like this, and this straight edge is cocked right over, Captain. Holy, what happened? And you draw another line. And you take a straight edge like this, and you draw two more lines. And that should give me my opening. What I need to cut, friggin' right it does. So there we go. There's my opening, can you see it? Probably not. There it is. See, it's a little square. You can barely see it, but it's there. Trust me. So now that we're done that, what you want to do next is take a drill bit and drill in each corner through the roof. I hope the fuck it's the right size. Yeah, she looks mint, Jim. I believe myself. I have to trim a little bit more off, but hey, whatever. Now remember, the only reason I'm just putting four holes in is because after I do the four holes, I got to go through the rubber membrane. And you want to be real careful it doesn't go so I'm gonna put four holes in each corner. Then we're gonna go up on the roof and we're gonna mark each corner. And then you're gonna see what I do next. Holy, that's way up there, Captain. Thanks, let's take this out right now. There's more of a gap in this roof than I thought, which is good. Ran into a stud, we did. Nothing like a stud, Captain. Yeah, we did. So now we'll uh, cut that piece out and see where we lie here, Captain. Are you nervous yet? Cause I am. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all, peoples. It's just a hole, Captain. That sun is killing me. Like, just cooking the crap right out of me. God damn. Oh, that's better. Get that sun off me. So. Oh, you already used that, didn't I? We're on to the freaking jigsaw we are. So, what we need to do is cut this out. Got a little bit of a roost brace there. We'll have to go through. There we go. We're almost done cutting the hell out of our roof and our trailer. Anytime. Okay, so we have a few two by fours. 
and a truss, which I didn't expect to run into. But one good thing, it's a double truss. So we're good to go. And holy crap, Jeff, it's actually pretty solid. It is? I'm pretty impressed. So, whoo, whoo, eh. So, what was I sewing about? So, wow, they don't build these like they used to. Holy cow, what a piece of shit. Everything's just hand nailed together. That's ridiculous. So let's go to get a hammer. Now I know what you're saying, you probably could have moved over a little bit and missed this truss. But then it wouldn't have been centered in the friggin' tub. And I want it centered in the tub. I want it so when I'm in the tub, it's in... Centered in the tub. It's got double roof braces all the way through. So we'll knock this out of here. We can. There it goes. There we go. So now that that's out, we got one here. And we're gonna put this back in, back in here. In a minute. If you look in here, it's got another brace beside it. So you're only removing one half of the brace. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't think. You might, but I don't. Two braces, one removed. Back in here, two braces. So it's still got lots of bracing. So don't be concerned about that. Be concerned about this. Oh God, I better be concerned about that. That didn't sound good, Jim. I think I might have farted backwards. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and see if this goes in. Oh, see it's a little tight still, which is good. Tight is good, Captain. Because that means you didn't cut the hole too big. We're pretty close to that brace, so I'm gonna go this way just a little bit. Holy fuck, does that stink? Jim? Oh, fuck. Well, there we go, just a little strip. Try it again. That's her, Jim. So there you go, there's the inside hole. So now what next to do is you wanna follow this up and go through the roof. Yeah, we do. Actually, we're gonna need a longer drill, but there's no doubt about it. Hold on a sec. So I'm just gonna get a short one here, nothing major, and we're gonna follow this corner straight up. Right about there. There we go. So there's four, which will give us a corner mark. So now we can move out to the outside. So now that we're down here, you can surely see we got a hole, a hole here, a hole <laughs> here, and a hole here. So now what we want to do is draw a line to these four holes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my dollar's marker that I had a fighter for, and we're gonna mark this out. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar if you like cutting a hole in the roof of your RV with Belsif or your trailer or whatever the hell we're doing. So there we go, that's that part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how much surface area this thing actually takes because you actually have lots. As you can see, we only have a hole this big, but yet this thing's as big as that hole, which is just like that, so it's perfect. So the reason I want my staple gun is when you're cutting this with the jig, I don't want this to shrink back. So if you just go one there, one there. Now I don't think you have to do this. When you look at like $10,000 for a fucking trailer roof, All right, there we go. Now we can cut it with a jig as I unplug myself. Why wouldn't I? Next, hey next. There we go. We're almost there, Captain. Can you see? Probably not. I have a steel bit on here and it's very dull. But I didn't want a big jaggedy bit because I'm going through that rubber membrane. In all honesty, the slower the better. There we go. We've got El Holo in El Rufo. How you freaking doing, eh? There you go. So now that's done. What do you think, eh? All right. Now that we're back inside, I'm gonna do a quick little cleanup here with the old vacuum cleaner, and then we'll um. Maybe stuff some insulation in around there. What do you think? Well, maybe not. Can't believe there's no fucking insulation in the ceiling at all in this thing. She's a cruise light for sure, Captain. But I gotta drill the holes in this because there's no holes pre-drilled and I want them to be perfect. So I'm gonna drill all these holes. And then I'm also gonna run a bead around this too before I put it in, just because that way the moisture can't get in between the roof. That fits in there pretty freaking good, doesn't it? And look at the headroom it gives me now. Aw, oh, dick. There ain't no more friggin' big hair you guys are gonna say. Why the hell didn't he just open the awning and 
That way it blocked the sun. The awning doesn't come back this far at the back. It stops right before this freaking door. Why wouldn't it? All right, so if you look out here, I've got all the holes drilled in the lid for the screws, eh? See how I did that? Just drilled right through where they're supposed to be. So I did order the wrong stuff at first. I ordered black, but I'm gonna put black on this because it doesn't really matter on this. Because you're not gonna see it, as long as you don't get carried away with it. So just give it a nice little high little bead around where the screws are gonna be. Like I said, you just wanna keep that shower moisture out of the roof if you can. Now, I didn't look at any instructions before doing this. I'm just doing it the way I feel like doing it. If you think I'm doing it wrong, that's fine. You're allowed to think that because I probably am. So now that we're done that, we can get the thing and put it up in the hole. Always make sure you're careful doing this so you don't get the shit everywhere. So I'm just gonna go right up inside like that and then I'm gonna put a screw in it. And then we'll put another screw over here and carry on. So just make sure you're not screwing hard on this because the ceiling's friggin' paper thin, right? It's only flat board or whatever the hell board you call it. Shit board. Go until it starts to squeeze and stop, see? There we go. So the inside portion is done. And check out that fitment. Just gotta clean off some marker marks. I don't know if you can see, the camera might not adjust. The fitment is beautiful. So check this out, you're probably gonna friggin' laugh. This is a tube I bought, SR140 to seal the skylight. In the box was a skylight, so <laughs> I didn't even read up on it and I got the right stuff. Figure that one out, Captain. First thing we're gonna do here, now I just wanna bring this to my, I brought this to my own attention, I wanna bring it to your attention. You probably don't need to do this hole this big. You could probably just go big enough for the actual skylight itself. That way you don't have as big a hole in the roof, but I find if you, the further you go, the, big, the more light lets in, right? Because if you're over here, you're gonna see the roof from inside. So that's why I went like that. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna lay this caulking out around this edge, all the way around here. And then I'm gonna also pump it into the screw hole before I put a screw in it. I got lots, so use lots, because this is a roof, you don't want to leak. So I'll do a nice big thick bead, and don't be shy. Last thing you want in your RV is a leaky roof. Look at that, Abe just laying out. Laying the cock to her cap. So there we go. So now that I've done that, this stuff is pretty stringy as you can see. Get your roof on there pretty quick, especially if it's hot out. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up drying before you get it on. So just kinda line her up, doesn't have to look 100%. Just look around, make sure you got it all spooge. I think it pretty much nailed her, I did. So I'll put some screws in this thing now. So I'm just gonna put some in that hole. That hole, that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole. Like I said, don't worry how it looks because when I'm done, this thing's gonna have fucking so much goop on it. So there we go, screws are in. So now that's done, take this caulking and just coat everything. Don't worry about what it looks like. You don't want it to seal. Who cares about what it looks like? You're the only one that's gonna seal the roof. And besides that, look at the roof as it is. There we go. So now, take it and go all the way around it. Don't be afraid to give it to it. There we go, so I'm out on that gun. Next, tube two. I'll put tube three into it if I have to. I'm a firm believer in leak, no leakies. I know a lot of these are gonna say, holy fuck, what a mess. But hey, I'd rather a mess than not enough. Say it once and I'll say it again. Never have enough seal. Now I'm gonna take a little spatula. I'm just gonna give her a smooth job. There we go, perfect. I'll even give you a little lower spot here for the water to come out, just to make everybody happy on YouTube. There you go, beautiful. Fuck, it looks better than that, eh? <laughs> That's installing a skylight in a trailer with dirty old rotten old stinky Belsif. How to do her with Belsif. Anyways, now I can see in the shower it's a little better and all this, that, and the other thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Let me know in the comments down below if I did anything wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what you would do differently if you were gonna do this. I wanna know for next time. If I did it wrong, tell me. If I did it okay, tell me. 
did great? Tell me, why wouldn't you? But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like this stuff. Hopefully you're having a good day like I am. I'm not doing anything I ain't doing. And until next time, love y'all. And you know what to do for now.